If I could describe my character in three words, word. So I have been actually performing since I was six years old professionally. Can we hear a little something? No. That's great. You're good to go. You're free. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. If I had to describe Reese in three words, he'd be charming, goofy, and sincere. My favorite thing about Reese is he never takes anything too serious, not even himself. There's some very funny moments where you're like, dang, this guy, what's wrong with him? But you know, Reese shakes it off and keeps it moving as nothing ever happened. I feel like we need to take that approach to more things in life. If I could describe my character in three words, I would call Ari kind, I would call her brave, and I would call her poised because she's very put together. My favorite thing about my character is that I think that she is super, super strong. My character in three words would be boss, sneak, liar. She is confident, outgoing, and extremely stylish. My favorite thing about my character, I think it's her style. It's not my like particular style, but I love like how outgoing she is with her style. The blue eyeshadow is everything. I wouldn't do it, but I love doing it for Callie. My favorite thing about my character, probably, hmm, her mixed emotions. Like, she's like different, like really moody. My favorite thing about my character is her style. I don't know if you can see, but I have this really cool snake earring and like this paper clip. And I was, whenever I like got to wear this, I was like, oh yeah. I would describe Felicity as popular, sassy, and aggressive. My favorite thing about my character is getting to play mean. She really has that Blair Waldorf, Regina George vibe, and it's so fun to get to act. Three words I would use to describe Electra would definitely be sassy. She just won't have it if things aren't going her way. She's a perfectionist. She wants everything on top, just perfect. And she's optimistic. She wants to be open to the ideas of things that could change the school for the better. She's very straightforward. She wants what she wants and she's not gonna stop until she gets what she wants basically. She's a little bit of a baddie and I like that about her. My favorite thing about my character is that you just don't know what to expect from him. Whenever he's on, he might be good, he might not be good, he might be up to something, he might not. So I like the mystery. My favorite thing about my character is my costumes. I love having cute and colorful costumes. My favorite thing about my character is how he's different than everyone else in the cast. He's the janitor's son, and that's why he's in the school, so I find that really cool. If I were to describe Molly in three words, it would be witty, smart, and creative. She's not afraid to embrace who she is, and she just sticks out in a very good way, and I just want to be Molly when I grow up. My favorite thing about my character is probably his undeniable charm and uh, his jaded side. If I could describe my character in three words, it would be charismatic, superficial, and misunderstood. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite food is Pasta. Definitely sushi. Definitely wings. Habanero, for sure. Frozen yogurt, because I love all the toppings. Pasta, I don't care what kind of pasta it is, as long as it's cheesy. It's gotta be Pad Thai. I love Thai food. I'm a sucker for Thai food. My favorite food is sushi. I'm a very picky girl, so my favorite food is kind of plain and simple. It's plain pasta with Parmesan cheese. Probably chicken katsu, or like a mean steak quesadilla. Pasta or pizza, I love Italian food so much. Definitely has to be mac and cheese. My favorite food is anything anyone's made and puts in front of me. My favorite drink from Starbucks is an iced matcha latte. White chocolate mocha. An iced chai, but with two scoops of matcha. It's no good without the matcha. Iced caramel macchiato with almond milk and extra caramel drizzle. I drink it every single day. <laughs> the pink drink. The strawberry acai, and I love to add raspberry syrup, strawberry puree and lemonade. Trust me, try it and it will change your life. An iced chai with almond milk. My favorite drink from Starbucks right now is the brown sugar shaken espresso. It's one of their new drinks and it's so good. Would have to be a caramel macchiato with an extra zing of the good stuff. Espresso, whipped cream instead of sugar. A triple shot espresso over ice with like one pump of dark caramel and a little bit of almond milk. Currently my favorite Starbucks drink is the caramel crunch frappuccino. Four ristretto shots in a grande cup, half filled with hot water, and then topped off with half and half. Favorite drink from Starbucks is none of them because Phil's is way better. Starbucks is great, but Phil's is better. Uh, no slander on Starbucks. So if you were to go to Phil's Coffee, I recommend the Filtered Soul 
fills away with oat milk and honey, iced. I am, for whatever reason, really into World War II air combat, like the P-38 Lightning, all that crazy stuff. And sometimes I find myself watching combat footage on YouTube, like hour-long documentaries for no reason. The weirdest rumor I heard about myself recently is that I saved someone's cat off Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Did you take it home? I didn't. No, I, I <laughs> someone just said I saved their cat. <laughs> a fun fact about me is I'm a feather kid. I do not mean to manifest this energy in my life whatsoever, but I have heard that I am dead, but I am not. I'm very much alive. I uh, got a lot of RIP comments on my post, but I'm very alive. A fun fact about myself is I love to paint. I do enjoy hanging out with my family more than friends. There's been a lot of people pretending that they are my neighbor and they live on my street. Weirdest rumor that I've heard about myself is that I don't like pineapple on pizza. For one, I think diversity is great and I feel like pineapple belongs on anything it wants to belong on because we're all inclusive. But yeah, who would just start rumors? If you start rumors, you're lame. Don't do that and check yourself. When I was a child, I was in a children's performing choir that toured the world. I got to go to England, Scotland, Mexico, China. We were called Cleveland Singing Angels. I think fans will really enjoy getting to solve the mystery of who Heather is and getting to see all the changes from last season. I think fans are going to love the drama. The mystery, the anticipation that they're going to get, it's just going to keep you guys on your toes. All of the relationships made and the romances and the love that we get to see, it's super exciting. I'm hoping they look forward to the cast. <laughs> People are going to be waiting to see the next show and the next one to see what happens. There are some moments that will leave your jaw on the floor, I promise you. Just wait, you're in for a treat. This season, fans are gonna love the fresh faces. I swear, Brat TV picks the most special up and coming youth. There's a lot of drama and a lot of plot twists and a lot of unique characters. And I'm excited for everyone just to fall in love with all these characters and being able to relate to them. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And you need to get really excited about season three. And trust me, it's gonna be juicy. Crown Lake.